Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the euro currency. So this week officially we've got the changing of the weekly context. So due to the recent rally on the euro currency we've got weekly bullish trend direction. And we actually are getting the two important lessons from the performance of the weekly uh, euro currency on the weekly chart. First of all, you could see how uh, the humble word of the Jerome Powell could breathe the life back in a forgotten pattern. Now I'm hitting on uh, my on, on the grabber that uh, we've got a few weeks ago in the weekly chart and for a long term market was standing flat here uh, trying to break it down and if we wouldn't have this speech I suppose that sooner rather than later this grabber could be could fail. And the second lesson that we could get is that despite how weak and at the edge of the failure pattern seems, it is better to not trade against it until you haven't got official failure of this pattern. You could not trade with it. It's normal. So if you have doubts, we talked about this and actually we also uh, haven't taken position with this pattern for some time, especially when it was really close to the failure but uh, we every time said that do not take the position against this pattern so until bullish pattern exists we haven't taken and haven't discussed any short position right there so uh, currently you can see what we're getting uh, today we have discussed in the vehicle report very important fundamental background because we have a lot of events and uh, we find uh, recent report very interesting I have tried to make it really short so it's not as extended as sometimes we uh, have but uh, it really contains a lot of important stuff where we explain why the Fed actually could uh, agree with the chance to cut the rate in the July of course it's not guaranteed but we provide you some reasons that might become really dominant in this decision making fundamentally uh, sorry technically we also have patterns that point to the possible solution although investors do not understand yet why the technical indicators show uh, bullish signs on the euro currency and bearish on the corresponding on the dollar index and on 10-year bonds we suspect that the reasons are the same the fundamental background investors do not uh, recognize this yet but if you take a look at the long-term charts on the euro currency as well where we have the bullish grabber uh, when you take a look at, look at the performance of the dollar index uh, for example you could say it is turning down inside of this consolidation performance of the 10-year bonds where we potentially could get the free drive patch with the drop back to the 4.10 percent you understand that all this uh, have some relation to the possible fed move in july well, I'm not sure that this would definitely will happen, but we see that background for this decision is becoming stronger. And even we start hearing some, hearing some hints from the Fed officials. For example, the member in Goldsby tell that they, he suggests that the action for the 2% inflation will be faster than it's suggested right now. So, yes, a lot of uncertainty stands around it, but still everything is going with the same direction which we think important speaking about the short-term perspective uh this upper direction on the euro currency looks really great we have the acceleration with the city leg target of our this kind of hand shorts that we discussed so was able to survive thanks to jerome powell uh, suggest target around 109.75 this a b city pattern Next big challenge for euro will be in general in area around 109.50, where we have the FIB level 109.33, target 109.75, and actually this is natural support resistance area in the same area, in the same level. Uh, but uh, the only 
well, I wouldn't call it as a problem, but uh, actually the only factor that could hold your currency from the unstoppable upper direction is daily ever buy. And since we have bullish context, finally, as on the weekly chart, as on the monthly, actually, as on the daily, uh, we could uh, start searching chance to take the long position. And the appearing of the ever bond here this might be really great assistance. Just because market, thanks to our bot, could show some pullback, which is actually we would like to get. By taking a look at the 4-hour time frame chart, here we have also some local target, which is the XOP run 1890 approximately. OP target of our ABCD patch is already completed, it was right there. And it also seems interesting this top. It might be provide some additional resistance, especially if we take into consideration the daily ever bot. That might be interesting as market will hit this area 1 or 850. Maybe right from here we will get some pullback. In general, currently we have two uh, different traders on our forum. First group is already taking a long position with our hand short, especially if you remember last week we were trading in here. And since the contact started turning to the bullish, uh, some traders already hold and, and already have the position aimed to the upside while others still do not have it and um, of course if you already have it it's much easier to manage it with this or all the stuff that we have currently on the back but if you're still considering taking the long position we have actually not really big amount of options all that we need is just to get some deep to buy that's the only condition that we need uh, currently on the hourly chart, we've got the pullback on, on Friday, as we suggested, with the, even with the 30% retracement. But it was really very fast on the Perl's report, and I suppose that hardly somebody uh, were able to, was able to catch this um, actually drop for taking the position. Meantime, you can see that the harmonic swing on the hourly chart stands equal approximately to the 35 pips, which means that this retracement in relation to the overbought condition on the daily we should consider probably something around 70 pips double harmonic swing because of the ever bot. So it seems that somewhere around this or that level might be interesting. Confidence, it's uh, well, all the better if market will reach this area, 1 or 760, 1 or 775. This will be just great to consider taking the position, but somehow I suppose that your currency could not reach this level. Uh, we should keep an eye on but it's more probable that we could get just minor pullback here from the from one of the levels. Currently, it's difficult to predict in what particular point market could start this pullback. Maybe it will reach this area, 1 or 8 feet. Maybe it will complete the XOP first. But for us, this is the secondary question. So it's not important. The more important is whatever level will be, since market once market will start the pullback, we should try to use it for the possible taking position. So that's what we will try to do on uh, next week. And this is our uh, training plan for the beginning of the next week. Uh, finally, guys, the most important thing, I suppose, will be the da data on inflation because it might be last break in the wall of the possible Fed decision. So recently, we already have got uh, weak payrolls, increasing of the initial claims, dropping on the jolts, vacations, so all this stuff. Uh, point on the chilling of the job market together with a huge drop of recent ism data um, and well that's created the healthy background for a soft policy from the fed uh, so let's keep watching and see what will happen